Well, hello, champs. It's Commodore Graham here, and it's time for a bit of a talky talk. Now, the first thing that I should probably tell you is that I am, at the very least, going to be taking a break from Terra Firma Craft of a considerable length because I'm not really feeling motivated to play it at the moment. Let me try to explain why. Now, Okay, so here's the wiki, right? Um, I've got to the point where I think that all that really remains to do is to grind up through the tiers of different sorts of metals and alloys to get um, incrementally better uh, armor, weapons, tools and stuff. And that's sort of about it. That and some farming. So it's just going to be a lot of samey wandering around, looking for ores, mining them, coming back, doing stuff with the anvil repetitively, which is just, I, I don't know, it's just this kind of repetitive mini game, really. Uh, so uh, it, it's difficult for me to see... Uh, see why particularly I'd want to continue and maybe I should have seen this coming to be honest uh, when you start off playing terra firma craft it's pretty fun especially since it's very different from normal minecraft and it's kind of a struggle to survive um, but now it's just kind of I, I don't know I just grind up through the different uh, the, the, the different metals and make and farm a bunch of food and aside from that it's just um I know I guess I could build stuff, but you can just do that in normal Minecraft, except more easily. <laughs> so uh, now I may end up changing my mind and coming back to Terra Firma Craft at some point, or I might not ever go back to it. It's difficult to say right now. Uh, the, the thing that's slightly annoying, though, is that uh, when it comes to my Let's Play series, Here's the first episode ever. It's got a respectable number of views now. That's because I put it on the uh, Terra Firma Craft subreddit, incidentally. So, uh, yeah, Terra Firma Craft, it's my most popular Let's Play. And I don't want to do it anymore. What are you going to do, you know? So, I'm going to be continuing to play Fallout 4. Um because it's really fun. It's, pro it's, it's the game that I most enjoy Let's Playing that I'm doing at the moment. And it, uh, I think it's very entertaining and funny uh, because I I've installed mods to make it much more difficult and deadly and unpredictable and so forth. And that all lends itself very well to entertainment, or at least I think so. Uh, I'm going to be continuing to play... Oh, where are we at? I'm going to be continuing to play my own custom mod pack, uh, Blood in the Olden Times, which uh, I'm doing with, well, she's not in every episode, but I'm playing that with uh, Countess Loveless. We have uh, a, a server that we have our world on, and we're playing that together. Um, and aside from that, because th those were my, my three regular series, but Terra Firma Craft, Blood in the Olden Times, and Fallout 4. So, uh, the last couple of days I put out a couple of Binding of Isaac videos. Not nearly so many people seem to want to watch those, at least not yet. Uh, I should say I I'm pretty damn good at that game. And uh, in, in terms of commentary, it's at least as good as anything I do when I'm playing anything else. So, if you haven't given it a go do consider it um i i hopefully i am at least moderately entertaining uh what else do i want to show you i want to show you a bunch of stuff actually just because it's kind of interesting to some people perhaps to see behind the scenes um but first yeah i, I mean i want to continue making isaac videos maybe at some point the popularity will pick up just through persistence really I, I think that quite often when people do find my Isaac videos, they're fairly likely to subscribe uh, just because like, I, I clearly know what I'm doing with the game. I'm hold, hold on a second. Um, 
yeah, as you can see, I've I've played the Binding of Isaac uh, more than a little bit here, uh, well over a, a thousand hours at this point, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But I just love that game. Um, Terraria is another thing that I may be getting more into. I, I'm in the middle of an expert hardcore run. I'll probably be releasing some more videos of that sometime soon. That's pretty fun because if you die once, that's it. It's over. So I'm having to be extra specially on my tippity toes there, playing as well as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, aside from that, I mean, we'll go and have a bit more of a look at my collection of games uh, in a little bit, just to show you the possibilities for the future and see what you think about what I could play. But uh, yeah, here's, here's my list of videos sorted for the ones that are most viewed. And this is what is kind of funniest in a way, like the sheer disparity between what some of like, okay, I have videos that I put out months ago that have, you know, like five views or less. But at the same time, uh, I have a couple of videos here that have like about 3,000 and about 4,000 views. It's kind of hilarious, really. I mean, it, it, it seems, okay, what I think happened with this video is that the new version of the thermal expansion mod had just been released for Minecraft 1.10.2. I think before that, it was just 1.7.10, which is even bef before the combat update. So it was sort of a big deal. And I released this video something like the day after the new version had been released. And then I um, put a link to it on a couple of relevant subreddits and just got an absolutely stupid amount of views. Uh, more on that later. So uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's like if, if what I was concerned about was just getting a whole bunch of views, it would make sense to just kind of try and repeat this, this, uh, this trick, as it were. Uh, just find a popular mod that has just been updated and be like the first or one of the first people to publish a video on it and make sure that I do my tags well so that people find it and stuff. Um, and maybe I'll do some more of that, uh, possibly. Um, you know, I can just go to the, to the curse website here. Hang on a second. You know, and you can just look at which mods have been recently updated. Find one that's pretty popular. Like say he, here, what have we got? Extra utilities for 1.11.2. That might be, uh, like. Let's see, uh, if I look at the versions, yeah, literally the first version for 1.11.2 came out an hour ago. Maybe I'll do that shit. Maybe that needs doing. Although I'm not, I'm not really that much of an expert on, on this, this mod. I've used, I've used bits of it when I've been playing Feed the Beast and stuff. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway. Um, now let, let's, ha let's have a look, at, a bit of a look at the sort of history of things, right? Over here, or the day after this or something, uh, like somewhere over here is where, when I first started releasing videos on my channel. My channel's older than that, but this is when I started releasing videos just before Christmas last year. And I was just release. I, I was just basically doing like Isaac videos and a bit of Rogue Legacy. That was pretty much it. And then somewhere around here, I yeah, I think it was like at the end of January, I started playing Terra Firma Craft, and things started to sneak upwards pretty nicely. And uh, then I released these two videos pretty close to each other, I think. Yeah, this one came out at the end of February, this one near the start of March. This one here, although this didn't start picking up many views until quite a while had passed, to be honest. So around, like, it's kind of around the end of 
February, the start of March, that all of these four most popular videos were released. And they, you know, they're all like mod showcases, except for this one, which is a tutorial on how to use the software that I use to record videos, which is amusingly meta, I guess. Um, but yeah, I had this massive spike. Like at some point I got over a thousand views in a day, which is kind of nuts for how many subscribers I had at the time. Which is obviously fewer than I have now. And ever since then, my just general level of views has been considerably higher than it was before the spike. But the reason for that is that these po these few popular videos, they just keep getting they keep they keep accumulating views. So um this is like my real-time stats. So I'm at, at, at the moment, as you can see here, I'm getting something like a little bit less than 10 views per hour on average because this is my last 48 hours 430 over the last 40 hours you know you do the do the maths because <laughs> i'm british it's not do the math it's do the maths um so uh yeah so th this tutorial on on the, my recording software it still keeps getting about 70 views a day this one's getting about 30, this one as well, which is kind of a follow-up to this one that I did more, more recently. So as you can see, um, these kind of tutorials and showcases and things like that, I, I think that's something like maybe three quarters of uh, the videos, sorry, three quarters of the views that I'm getting are from these few videos that just keep getting views. It's really funny. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I need to do some more stuff like that, you know, because, like, just occasionally, not as my uh, uh, meat and potatoes of the channel, but um, say if I do one video that's more this kind of thing per week, it'll be well worth it in terms of, you know, people actually... Uh, wanting to come and view it in droves, as it were. Um, but uh, yeah, well, so that's that. Just thought you might possibly be interested to see, uh, to see that sort of thing. Now, when it comes to the future, uh, yeah, I'm going to be continuing with Fallout 4, Blood in the Olden Times, I'm almost certainly going to do bits of Terraria here and there and make the odd, like, make, you know, or maybe even a lot of Isaac videos. Maybe people will start watching them at some point, which you should. It's definitely worth it. Pretty good at that game. Um, but let's, let's, look at, uh, let, let's look at my uh, collection of games on Steam. So just to give you some idea of what's available, what things I've thought of potentially doing as a Let's Play. And uh, and you can tell me what you think, actually, as well. I mean, I can't guarantee that I'll, you know, start playing a game just because someone asks me to. It's, But I, I would be interested to have uh, opinions and input and so forth. So um, what do we have here? So here are most of my games. And I'll tell you what things I've mostly been thinking of potentially uh, do, doing Let's Plays with. Um, one, well, I mean, obviously there's a Binding of Isaac and also, by the way, I have, um, the Binding of Isaac anti-birth, the, the, the mod here, which honestly, if anything, I think I might like it more than the official expansion to afterbirth here. Um, it's, it's, it's really, it's really, really fun. The new content in, in the anti-birth mod. Anyway. So, I was thinking, uh, I, I keep thinking maybe Crusader Kings 2, but I can't get, oops, excuse me, about to hiccup there. I can't get into it. It's, um, it's, there, there, there's such a steep learning curve on the game and you're presented with so much information all at once. And even the text on the screen is so tiny, it's the only game that I have to actually wear my glasses to play. It, it's pretty funny. So um, one possibility is, although this, you know, would probably just be a short series, is playing Castle Crashes with uh, 
with the Countess, with Countess Loveless. We've played it before, it's it's really fun. Um We've played Borderlands a bit as as well. Well, Borderlands 2, actually. I mean, that could be a thing, maybe. Uh, yeah, not sure about that. Um Dark Souls 3 is something I'm seriously considering. Because I really like um, how kind of skill and dexterity based it is and how difficult it is and, and so forth. Uh, I really like games that that are really hard, I guess. I mean, like The Binding of Isaac is a very difficult game. It takes a long time to get really good at it. And I, and I like that sort of thing. A another possibility is uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Because, I don't know, I just like these arcadey, skill-based, dexterity-based kind of games. Um, what else am I particularly thinking of? Uh, there's, I got this game recently. It's kind of like, a, I, I, I think, possibly a turn-based tactical sort of game. I, I think that... That could work. I haven't even tried playing it yet, but it looks like just the sort of thing that I might like. Um, I, I've got a lot of games I've never even tried, actually. It's really funny. I've got over a thousand hours in Isaac and tons of games I haven't even tried playing. Um, uh, a, a, possib a possibility is Fallout New Vegas. I'm already playing Fallout 4, so... I wouldn't move on to another game of that sort until I had decided I'd finished with Fallout 4, I think. But, um, yeah, maybe that at some point. Uh, Dying Light's kind of exciting. Uh, yeah. Like, when I had my old channel, I started doing a Let's Play of that at some point, and then kind of at, at, at some point I, I stopped. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know what, what's, what was going on there. I just kind of ran out of steam or something. Uh, I, th there's, um, there's a mod for Far, Far Cry Three called Ziggy's Mod, which makes the game way more difficult. Um, and I was considering doing, um, a let's play with Ziggy's mod and putting the game on the hardest difficulty setting because uh, I don't know apparently I'm a masochist I don't know how many people have uh, let's played Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon that's something that I'd consider I played it a little bit in the past it's really funny um, it's it's very it's very derivative of the 80s let's say uh, The Forest is another one I, I did a let's try of that it's a pretty fun game. Um, I, I would worry that I'd kind of get to a certain point and then kind of start getting a little bit bored because all that will remain is to, I don't know, build more stuff. Well, uh, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's a good game. It's a very good game. Um, what else? The Legend of Grimrock games, on my old channel, I, I was doing a Let's Play of that. Um, and, I don't know, a few people, uh, you know, a reasonable number of people seemed to like to watch that. Especially Germans, for some reason. Not really quite sure why. Uh, Legend of Grimrock 2, I've played hardly any of that. I would, I, I guess I'd play through the first one before I moved on to the second, probably. Uh, what else? Mark of the Ninja looks... That looks potentially fun. You know? Like, as, as, a, as a more sort of short-term Let's Play, probably. There's, there's various things here that, that I'd consider. Mirror's Edge, I've got that. Never played it. Looks super fun. Um, what else? Prison architect could be a possibility. I could, I could see how that could, uh, that could be pretty neat. I don't know. Uh, I'm just kind of scrolling through here and see what's what. Uh, there's a whole, a whole lot of games here that I would consider let's playing. Uh, my brother's a big fan of Spelunky. Um, 
apparently when you get into that that's uh, that gets really fun uh yo yo what else i don't know bunch of things maybe xcom i like xcom a lot um there may be some issues with the company who makes it actually giving you uh permission to uh to let's play it i don't know maybe it would just be no big deal it's it, it can be difficult to tell but uh, yeah and then there's countless loveless's games as a matter of fact one of which is fallout 4 i don't have my own copy of that and i'm let's playing it which is pretty funny uh i'd love to play the witcher 3 at some point that looks so good and what else what else would i consider i don't know like a like a whole a whole bunch of stuff really now what else what else Another thing that I consider would be playing through Half-Life 2 and then Episode 1 and Episode 2 after that. There's a, there's a mod for that called the Cinematic Mod, which beefs up the graphics to quite a large degree. That might be sort of interesting. Some people don't like that. Some people do. Um, the, some people think it changes the character of the game too much. I don't know. Uh, Elder Scrolls-wise... I would certainly consider playing um, Skyrim Special Edition. I actually made a, a mod for that at some point. It's, uh, it's a reshade preset, uh, which I designed in order to get rid of the nasty kind of green haze and increase the contrast whilst recapturing dynamic range in the highlights and shadows. It was all very clever of me, if I do say so myself. And, you know, I'd think about others as well. Don't know about the Elder Scrolls Online. I, I, I tried playing that a little bit. Didn't get into it too much. Maybe I wasn't in the right sort of mood. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I could play all sorts. So, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's where we're at, really. Uh, that's, uh, that's about as much of a channel update as I can give you. Hope it was... Uh, vaguely interesting. Do please let me know if you have any notions as to games you think it would be cool for me to play. And uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now, chaps.